broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, Sandy, Vicki and the Insurance Agency Marketing. I just wanted to thank everyone for attending this webinar on uh, Monday morning. Just so greatly appreciate you taking time out of your schedule uh, to do that. Again, my name is Sandy Vicanti, and I head up the Life Division here at IMES. And just a couple house cleaning items uh, that I'm going to do before I hand this over to John Inting, who will talk about, uh, one, a great company, and two, uh, great products that National Guardian Life has to offer. So when you... Uh, Gosh, give us a call and want to refer an agent over to us. Uh, we have something called an IMS Business Builder. And what that is, is when that referred agent contracts with IMS, we send you a check for $50 uh, just as a thank you for entrusting us with that referral. When that same referral um, writes and places business, uh, with IMS, you receive 20 basis points on each piece of place business written thereafter, whether that's life, annuity, med sub, combination thereof. Um, so again, that doesn't come out of your commission, doesn't come out of their commission. That comes from IMS as a big thank you for that referral. We also have something called a marketing reimbursement account that's open to all agents. So when you place $100,000 of premium with us, we put in $100 in that marketing reimbursement account. Kind of think of that account as um, almost a like a business savings account. So when you um, have a expense or an invoice, if you purchased a webinar or, uh, I'm sorry, a website or seminars, you had to buy a new laptop, submit that invoice to us. Um, as long as that money is in the your account there, we will pay up to 50% of that invoice. This marketing reimbursement account, it continues to build. It carries over uh, each month and each year. Uh, you do not lose that money. So whenever you're ready to submit that business invoice, please do so. Again, we pay up to 50% as long as that money is in your account. We also have something for all of our new agents to IMS. Uh, it's called a new producer builder. And what that is, again, with every $100,000 within your first six months of placed business with us, uh, we will give you an option to choose a two-year producer website or a $750 cash bonus. If you'd like to hold off because you think you'll place $300,000 of business with us, whether that's life, annuity, med sub, long-term care, combination thereof. You can choose a $1,500 gift card, a $2,000 in that marketing reimbursement account that I just spoke about, or a social security program in 3,000 piece mailing. If you'd like to hold off and you think, gosh, I'm going to go gangbusters here in my first six months with IMS and place a half million dollars of business with them, uh, you can choose a 4,000-piece mailing and seminar coaching with a top producer of ours, Dave Pimper, a 5,000-piece mailing and seminar coaching with another top producer of ours, Matt Gill. Or you can choose my favorite, and I say it every, every time, uh, a Ritz-Carlton Travel Rewards Getaway, where you plan your own destination getaway. Um, so a lot of great opportunities there just for doing business here at IMS. What I consider really important, especially for agents, and there's a lot of uh, agents who don't have a brick and mortar, who don't have back office support, we have just exceptional back office support for you. And what the reason why we do that and have that is just to try to save you time and increase your um, business and how we do that is in the beginning by setting you up with paperless contracting. So you fill out that contracting paperwork, you choose the carrier or carriers you're interested in getting contracted with, and then you send that back to us. Uh, any carriers you want to contract with in the future, uh, we just give us a call and we get that completed for you. Uh, case design assistance, running your life and annuity quotes, giving you the forms, um, you know, doing uh, sales expertise and coaching just to find out exactly where's the best fit for you and your client. Um, and really important out of all of this is the submission to commission. And what I mean by that is when you submit a piece of business with IMS, we scrub that application, make sure nothing is missing. 
if anything is, we, of course, give you a call and try to find that information out. We order any exams and labs and send it to the carrier the same day that we receive it. We follow that case every three days through the underwriting process. We're touching that to make sure it stays on track and gets issued and placed and commission paid to you just as quickly as possible. Our creative team, if you've seen any of our Life and Annuity Academy books, if you've seen our newsletters, website, the webinars themselves, that's our creative team doing that. Such an outstanding uh, department, whether you're speaking with Sean or Jacob on different flyers, brochures, a logo design to make sure the correct color is being used to capture as many people's eyes as possible. A website, if you have a website that's a little tired or you don't have a website, we can create and manage that for you. Different newsletters, um, social media consulting, if you see all those ads on Facebook uh, and you just are wondering how you can get your name and agency name out there, Sean and Jacob are able to help you with that. So please give them a call. Let them know how they're able to assist you on getting, again, your name and your agency's name out there to as many people as possible. Our website, www.iamsinc.com. This is available to you 24-7. Um, when you give me a call and say, gosh, I want a term quote or a UL quote ran or I need an application, this is exactly where I go. Uh, you can also pull up current industry links and news. Um, if you want to know who our top five MIGA annuity carriers are, you can pull that up. Um, we have our webinar calendar here. We keep all of our recorded webinars here on this link. Um, if you want to shop around for E&O, you're able to do that. And then our great sales resource library uh, where you're able to uh, view educational uh, short videos on whether it's key man, buy, sell. Um, if you want to pull up specific forms related to like diabetes questionnaire or heart attack questionnaire, all that information is right here on our website. If you're not registered for our website, I strongly suggest you get registered. Uh, if you need help with that, please give me a call. I'll be happy to help you and kind of go over uh, the important tabs to uh, look at. So I'll do a poll poll question here and by checking yes you're just asking for additional information so when the DOL ruling came out uh, we found it really important to try to assist our agents in capturing as much revenue as possible so they don't go outside of your services and so we created our wealth management division and we did that again to help you increase revenue and manage money fees uh, you're able to improve that client retention by offering uh, a fuller range of products and services. And you're also viewed differently by your clients. You're viewed uh, as a fiduciary. So whether you have a Series 65 and you're thinking about changing, if you don't and you think, uh, gosh, I may want to get one or you don't want to get one and you're still trying to figure out, you know, how to capture that revenue, we're able to assist you. Uh, just check yes on that poll question. We'll get someone to um, give you a call and answer any questions you have. Uh, if anyone thinks this DOL ruling is going away, it is not. It is ever changing. So again, checking yes will give you the current um, updates and what is uh, coming down in the near future and how it may affect you. We also have, uh, that's coming up, our Life and Annuity Academy that um, actually John Inting will be uh, presenting. So our Life and Annuity Academy, we're just so proud of this. It's industry recognized. It's an all expense paid trip. So we pay for your airfare, your lodging, meals. Uh, the one that we have coming up is March 13th through the 15th. And um, that will be in Dallas, Texas. So if you're in one of the cold states like we are right now, that just sounds uh, very inviting and appealing healing on this cold snowy day. Um, what we do on that training is we go over different sales ideas and strategies from top producers like John. Uh, we 
unravel annuities and indexed annuities and when's the best time to, um, you know, use and utilize an income writer. Um, we go over different threats and trends, go client objections and how to overcome them. Um, different seminar systems, uh, whether it's coffee and cookies in your library or whether it's, um, you know, a more formal sit down. Uh, seminar system, large life case marketing, wealth transfer tools with single premium life with uh, infinite banking or that bank on yourself concept. Um, we go over different sales, again, sales ideas. It is a great opportunity. We had close to a thousand agents register. We take between 35 and 40. And again, we cover all of your expenses. It's, it's a good opportunity to meet agents all across the United States and to hear different sales ideas and strategies. By checking yes, you're just asking for additional information, which we'll ha be happy to get out for you. And then, uh, gosh, one last thing before I turn it over to John, with all the top commissions and the different carriers and the incentives and trips that they offer, we here at IMS thought it was really important to also offer our own trip for uh, agents and their guests. And uh, what we do is we call it the 2019 Marketing Summit, and that is August 25th through the 29th of this year in Naples, Florida at the Ritz-Carlton. So it's a beautiful location. Um, we have long invitational periods. We want as many people there as possible. So this started January 1st of 2018 and goes all the way through June 30th of 2019. Uh, if you're interested in attending uh, with a guest, uh, the only way you're able to do it is to make sure you're contracted with IMS and writing and placing business with us. And you can do that with a combination of $3 million of annuity premium, $1.5 million of Medicare SEP premium, $2.25 of single premium life. Uh, $250,000 of life target premium or $600,000 of long-term care premium. You know, we have agents that attend uh, their first year and just really feel like it's a family atmosphere and, and really strive to make it each year after that. And then we have agents uh, like John who attends, you know, every year for many years. It, it really does become a, a close-knit family reunion. Would love to see as many people there as possible. If you have questions on how to, um, you know, get there uh, before June, again, give me a call and I'll be happy to go over that with you. Right now, I'm going to change over to uh, John N. Ting, and he is going to go over a National Guardian Life in their products and how you really need to have this carrier in your back pocket and the importance of that. So, John, would you like to take over? I would. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank hey, you, John. Sandy. I appreciate that. I'm not able to hear you, John. How about now, Sandy? Hey, John. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear Gosh, me? Gosh, I'm not able to hear you, John. Are you on mute or? Yeah, we'll do a sound check here. So what can I'll do me? until I can get John to um, get to speaking here is I will. Uh, sorry about that. We are. Sandy, can you hear me now? He's here. So what I'll do is go over some of the um, information until I can start hearing John talk. Uh, so with National Guardian Life, um, you know, it is a true funeral trust funding, and it's just such a great opportunity if you have new clients or existing clients. And John, as soon as you can chime in, just uh, start talking, and we'll hand this over. Um, if so you can hear me talking, send Sandy a message uh, that you can with hear National me. National Guardian Life, the trust, the product, the presentation ideas, and different sales tools, and then the company uh, and the value that's added when you um, put them in your back pocket. It looks like they can hear you, John. So I am going to switch over uh, back to you uh, where they can hear you. And unless I get any information. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give it over to you, John. They are able to hear you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you sending Sandy that uh, message, and good morning. 
Uh, first of all, what I'd like to do is if you can't hear me at any point, just shoot her another message, but I'm sure we won't have any problems from this point forward. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about the NGL Funeral Trust and the funding. Uh, I want to let you know, first and foremost, I am an agent that's in the field. I'm not a home office representative. I have a business here in uh, Columbus, Ohio. I am a financial advisor, and I use this program with my clients. So anything I talk to you about, you're getting it from someone that's experienced and that's in the field using it uh, on a daily and weekly basis. So what we'll do first today is we'll talk about the opportunities that uh, exist with this product, with National Guardian Life. We'll talk about the trust that they offer for free. Uh, we'll talk about the product that we use to fund those trusts. I'll give you a few presentation ideas and tools, and then we'll talk about the company itself and the value that they'll bring to your business. So the opportunity actually is uh, huge in the marketplace. This was brought to me about 14 years ago from a mentor of mine. And at the time when he brought it to me, I didn't know what it was. I barely understood it. Uh, but the way he explained it was if I could understand it and learn it and be able to articulate it to my clients, that I could sell a lot of it, help my clients out, and make a lot of income doing it. So uh, once I found out what that opportunity was, I, I dove in head first and started uh, looking at the product and then started talking to my clients about it and then lo and behold here we are 14 years later and it's a it's a part of our everyday practice here at Intang Financial Services. As you all know we're in the planning business whether you're selling annuities and doing income planning maybe you're in the long-term care market uh, it doesn't really matter which part of the market you're in but you're trying to give people advice uh, on planning in their lives and we all know it's not just going to happen magically that's why why we're involved is to give them some options to look at show them the plan uh, and how that plan is going to come to fruition at some point in the future and then again we also have to find the money uh, to be able to show them that hey you actually do have the money to do this and we'll be happy to show you where to get those funds from. So when we talk about planning funeral and final expenses aren't any different. Um, someone's going to need to determine the services when you pass away and the bills need to be paid. But the question becomes who and what we recommend is that it's the deceased prior to death. In other words, show them how to do that planning, get the plan put in place, uh, have all that required planning done so that when they pass away, it makes it easy on their family. Um, or if that doesn't get done, it can be left to the survivors afterwards. And that's what happened in my situation. Uh, my dad passed away on January 21st of 2011. Just a quick backstory: I'm the youngest of five children. I've always been the entrepreneur in the family, so anytime anything goes uh, wrong, uh, you know, I'm the one that gets the phone call. And I actually found myself sitting in a funeral director's office in 2011, and he was asking me a lot of questions. What was your dad's mother's maiden name? What was his favorite flower, his highest rank in the military? A lot of questions that I didn't have the answers to. And it, in my dad and I weren't uh, as close as we I would have liked, so we never talked about that. But what it made me quickly understand and realize was that uh, what I was doing for my clients uh, was great, and it brought value, and it was going to help a lot of families to not go through what I had to go through with my own father. So there's two different choices at NGL. They have the plan and pay for the funeral, so they can go into a funeral parlor. They can do a pre-need plan. I'm sure you've all heard of that, where people have went to a funeral home and prepaid their funeral. Or they can do the planning without going to the funeral home, and that's the final expense side. That's where we're showing them how to put money aside to pay for those anticipated expenses that we know are coming at some point in the future. And what's interesting is if you ever ask your clients what they think the cost of a funeral is, you're going to hear numbers all over the place, but actually it's around $15,000. And we had a client pass away a few months ago, well, her mom did, and we asked her, and it was closer to $16,000 
for the cost of a, a funeral. And you'll hear from a lot of people, especially today, that they're looking towards cremation. Uh, even at that, we'll recommend that they put at least $5,000 into the plan. And the reason for that is not only the cremation, but they also may want to have a memorial service, and those funds can be used uh, for those costs as well. So when we're talking to our clients, we want to make sure that they understand the cost of a funeral and what happens if they don't have their planning in place. So a survey was done, and they said 72% of people thought it was a good idea to pre-plan a funeral, but 64% of those people had not taken the steps to do so. And we believe the reason for that is that, you know, a husband and wife don't wake up on a beautiful morning and say, hey, honey, let's run down to the funeral home and pick out our casket. Uh, it's just something that the human mind doesn't like to think about for more than about 11 seconds is your own demise. So understanding that, um, your clients aren't any different. I'm working with the same clients that you're working with. They do believe it's a good idea once you get into the conversation and you'll be able to show them a way that's easier and better to do it without ever going into that funeral home unless they make the decision at some point that they would want to go in there. Uh, the market's huge. One of the reasons I always uh, emphasize really learning this program, understanding it, and being able to offer it to your clients is over the next 20 years, 80 million people are going to file for Social Security benefits. In our business, I call those prospects. And so if you look at the numbers, if you're in this business for the long haul, 2025 is just around the corner. Uh, we all understand how quickly time moves. And then when we understand that there'll be almost twice as many seniors as there are today, if we know and understand this product, our, our base of prospects has went up and now we can constantly be asking people a very simple question. Have you prepaid your funeral? And that's really important to take from this webinar today. That's the only thing you need to be asking people. Have you prepaid your funeral? It's a yes or no question. And a little bit later on, I'll tell you how to answer that based on the answer that they uh, give you from the question. So how we'll start a lot of the conversations with clients is obviously we're going to ask them, you know, have you prepaid your funeral? Uh, they'll usually tell us, no, we haven't. And we'll say to them, well, you know, uh, we understand that you don't have any nursing home insurance because 93% of Americans don't, but that the cost of care is very, very expensive. Uh, right now, again, these numbers need to be updated, but we're more at about seventy-eight to 88000 per year, and we're seeing that cost of care increase. And if you haven't uh, put any type of protection in place for a long-term care stay, then what's going to happen is you're going to have to spend all of your assets in order to qualify for Medicaid. So by using a irrevocable funeral trust, we're going to be able to show them how to protect that money um, from the long-term care facility and make sure that it's there to take care of their final expenses when their family needs it the most. So how it all fits together is the NGL takes uh, an insurance product and then they take the funeral trust. We're using life insurance. We're going to create that life insurance policy by using premium, and then we're going to blend it with an irrevocable funeral trust. So we're going to tell them, hey, we're going to set some money aside permanently for your final expenses. We all know we're going to pass away someday, so we know we're going to be using the funds. And then we're going to use a, a trust to hold the funds. And effectively, what we've done is when we put that money into the funeral trust, we've spent the asset down. In other words, it's not going to be counted at a nursing home when you go in for a stay. That money will be 100% protected, and it'll be there again uh, for when you pass away and your family needs the money to take care of your funeral. So the trust themselves, will chat a little bit about that and how they look with National Guardian Life. They are irrevocable trusts. So when your client puts their money into this trust, you need to – explain to them in clear terms that this is irrevocable. The money's not coming out until you pass away. So don't call me to borrow money out of it. Don't call me and tell me you want to surrender it because you need your cash. The only time the money will come out is when you pass away. 
if you explain it to your clients that way, they're pretty smart. They'll understand that. I've been doing these plans for 14 years. I've never once had a client call me asking me to take a loan from a policy or to try to cash it in. They understand it's irrevocable. But by being irrevocable, we get a lot of benefits with that. We get protection from creditors. The money's going to pay out 100% income tax free. The funds are available immediately at someone's passing. The trusts are free. Uh, this is important. I deal with an elder law attorney down the street from me uh, that sends me referrals for this irrevocable trust, and he does irrevocable estate planning. But if you go in there and want to do any type of trust with him, the party starts at $7,500. That's what you need to write him a check for. And then that cost goes up from there depending on the other work he has to perform. So it's real important to understand that these trusts are free with National Guardian Life. Everyone's going to qualify for the trust assignment. The death proceeds are going to be used for the funeral expenses. And they're typically going to avoid probate costs and delays. And something that's real important with the plan is the funds are totally portable. Well, why is that important? If you go prepay your funeral at a funeral home here in Columbus, Ohio, and then you decide that you're going to follow your kids and grandkids down to Florida because they just took a job down there, and you're going to live your life out down in Florida, well, if you pass away and you've prepaid your funeral here in Columbus, you got to get back to Columbus, and that may not even be where you want to be buried at that point. So with this plan, those funds can be used anywhere in the United States and because we're not naming a funeral home. It can go to any funeral home in any state and take care of those final expenses. Oh, got ahead of myself there. So how does the trust work? It's real simple. I always explain this to clients. I always tell them that in theory, we're really not even buying anything. What we're doing is we're taking money from our left pocket. We're moving it over to our right pocket to plan for our final expenses and to protect the money from this point forward. So as an example, we use a single premium life insurance policy. It's not like you're, if you're in the life insurance side of the business, it's not like a traditional single premium where you put 15000 in and you get a $25,000 death benefit. This one is geared towards you're going to put 15000 in. You're going to maybe start with $15,250 of death benefit. We're going to then assign that policy to the irrevocable funeral trust, and it's now going to earn interest. So that interest is simple interest credited daily, and it's going to sit in there and grow until the time your client passes away. Once your client passes away, this is the procedure. We've settled many of these claims. Our client will call us, hey, my dad passed away. I will say to them, what funeral home are you going to take him to? I will reach out to that funeral home to get their fax number and who handles the claims for the funeral home. I'll then call National Guardian Life, give them the funeral home uh, contacts name and fax number. And at that point, I'm out of it. At that point, National Guardian Life faxed the funeral home, and within 48 hours, the funeral provider has the money in their hands. And that's huge because funerals, funerals, uh, funeral parlors won't do anything until they have funds. They won't even do the showing. So we make sure that they have the money in their hands to be able to provide the service for the client. Let's say that the client has $16,000 of death benefit and the funeral is only $15,000. That extra thousand has to be paid back to the estate uh, because we gave up incidents of ownership to protect it from a nursing home spend down. So now it has to be paid back to the estate if there are any excess funds. In a little bit, I'll show you how uh, another plan offered through National Guardian Life uh, can be paid to a beneficiary. So there's two different uh, trusts with National Guardian Life. The first one is the Funeral Expense Trust. I'm going to talk about Ohio here for a minute, and then we'll put up a screen that will show you all the states. I uh, see we have a lot of people, so you're probably all over the place. Uh, but what we do with the Funeral Expense Trust is we can put up to $15,000 into the trust. 
that is going to give us the ability to protect that money immediately from any type of a Medicaid spend down situation. Good example of this is a lot of times the elder law attorney down the street will call me and say, hey, you know, we're going to try to uh, qualify for Medicaid March 1st. Can you come down and write uh, two $15,000 plans? I want to get 30000 off the books immediately so that it's not counted towards Medicaid spend down. And we can do that. We can do that to the point even if one of the spouses is in a nursing home. Um, we never have to see the spouse in the nursing home. The spouse that's at the attorney's office can sign all the documents for the spouse in the nursing home, and we can still do a plan uh, on them as well. And so then what will happen again, like I showed you the last screen, the trust is going to pay the funeral costs when they pass away, and the excess funds are going to go to the estate of the insured. Now, they also have an NGL estate planning trust. This one you can put up to $100,000 in it. And there, it's a combination between the two. So if I'm here and I worked with a client and I wrote them a 15,000 funeral expense trust, and then I go back and they want to do an estate planning trust, I can put another 85,000 into the estate planning trust for a total of 100. But what the difference is, is this gives them the ability to exclude assets in order to qualify for Medicaid and SSI after a five-year look back. So with this particular one, once they put the money in there, after five years, that money's 100% protected from a nursing home. So those funds are going to be used to pay for funeral expenses if they do not have a funeral expense trust and they only had an estate planning trust. It would be the same process. The money would come out to pay for the funeral expenses, but then any excess funds will go to a named beneficiary of the insured's estate. So at that point, we can name a beneficiary. So when I do the uh, IMS uh, agent uh, planning sessions that we're getting ready to do here in March, uh, I'll get questions, you know, when do I use which trust, John? And it's pretty simple. Uh, if you are just doing crisis planning, like the situation I just explained with the elder law attorney, maybe you have a client who's spending money right now for care, and they're looking at their funds, and they're going, man, we're probably going to be broke within five years and have to go on Medicaid. This is a great way to protect some of that money immediately for them. And then a lot of times when I'm doing a financial plan for a client, um, I'll say to them, hey, have you prepaid your funeral? And they'll say no. And I'll say, you know what? Why don't we take $15,000 on you and your wife? Let's just get it put away to take care of your final expenses because they really just want the assurance that that money's protected now and that they have a plan in place for their funeral and final expenses down the road. Now, the estate planning trust would be if I said to a client, hey, have you prepaid your funeral? And they said no. I may say to them, well, do you have any money that you would like to know is protected from a nursing home and that you could leave directly to the person that you want to leave it to? So your children, maybe it's a charity, and you just want to transfer that money easily to them. Uh, so that would be my play on that. And a lot of times we'll hear the answer, yeah, you know what? We've got this money in a savings account. We're never going to use it. But if we get sick and go in a nursing home, we know we're going to have to spend it. Let's put it in the estate planning trust because five years from now, that money's 100% protected. Uh, I have a couple teachers I work with. We just hit the five-year mark on them. Uh, I met, you know, five years ago. I brought them on from a seminar. Uh, we had this whole conversation. They said, yeah, you know, we have great income. We're never going to buy long-term care insurance. I said, well, why don't we put 100000 into each one of these for the both of you? So I wrote 200000 into this plan. And again, time moves so quickly. Here we are. We're five years later. And that money for them is 100% protected from a nursing home plus the growth that's in it. And that's the real opportunity. Uh, so you don't just have to settle for writing $15,000 plan. You can really get creative in some cases you know, pick up a couple hundred thousand in the house uh, just by being able to explain, explain the concept. So we'll talk about the product they use. It's called the NGL Asset Guard, and it's real simple. It's a fixed rate product. Uh, you combine it with that funeral trust, and again, it's going to have that increasing death benefit of that simple interest credited daily. We're going to give them that financial protection for their final expense planning. 
So individual state limits, we'll take a look at what that looks like. So, oh, we go back there. Sorry about that. It's sensitive. So uh, let's just look at Ohio for a minute. I'm in the great state of Ohio because in Ohio, I can write a $15,000 uh, funeral expense trust, or I can do $100,000 into the estate planning trust. But let's say that you're in a state like Florida. Florida will not allow you to write the funeral expense trust. And I have a friend of mine that lives in Florida, and I said, well, hey, that's no problem. We just need to think outside the box. So if I were living in a state where it was either a limited amount or no amount at all that I could put into the funeral uh, trust, I would say to the client, hey, look, for some reason, Florida doesn't allow you to put the money in the funeral expense trust and get it excluded immediately, but you still need to plan for your final expenses. So since we can't do that, let's put 15000 into the estate planning trust. Granted, it's a five-year look back, but if you don't do anything, that five years is going to be gone, and that money you have sitting in your savings account for your funeral will still be able to be attached by a nursing home. At least this way, five years down the road, we've got the money protected, and we've got a plan in place for your final expenses. Same way if I lived in Nebraska, I'm going to say, hey, let's put 4916 in that funeral trust. Let's make up the difference in the estate planning trust, and let's get that five-year clock ticking. Uh, it's funny, I, I know there's a lot of people on the call today, uh, but you know, I, I was just talking to my wife about going Christmas shopping, it seems like, and here we are, we're, we're in the uh, middle of February already. So time does go by quickly, let's get these plans in place for the client and get the clock ticking for them. So here's all the expenses that can be paid for by the Irrevocable Funeral Trust. So if you look at everything, just about everything that you are going to need, uh, to take care of at a funeral. It can be paid for out of the trust, even down to the transfer of the deceased. So if you were on, your client was on vacation in Florida and passed away and, and did want to be buried back here in Ohio, then they could use part of those funds to transfer the deceased back to Ohio. So today we're gonna to talk about the single pay because that's what I use in my practice. They do have a multi-year pay. Uh, I would encourage you if that's something you're interested in to certainly investigate it once you're licensed with the company. But for today to keep it simple and what we do here at Intang Financial is we use the single pay option for our clients. And so they can put a minimum of $500 in there, and they can put a maximum up to $100,000. You will pick a growth rate for them up to two and a quarter percent. And there's only one health question on the application, so everybody is going to qualify for the plan. You're not going to go out and do work that you're going to come back and find out a client didn't qualify and you spent your time uh, and didn't get paid for it. You can write them on anybody from zero to 99 years old. So again, uh, you know, it's uh, wide open for the clients that you want to write the plan on. And there's only one health question, like I stated a minute ago. If they answer no, it's going to be a standard issue. If they answer yes, it will be a guaranteed issue, but they will get the plan issued. And so what we're going to do is we're going to increase that death benefit daily with simple growth. All single pay uh, is immediate full death benefit. So you know, I wrote a client last month and I get a call in three days that they passed away. No problem. That benefit's 100% payable with the interest to the client. So here's what I love most about it. It couldn't be easier to do. It's basically two pieces of paper and your state disclosure form and you are done. And I like to kind of just take a walk back in time. Uh, when I wrote my first annuity piece of business back in 1993, I was sitting in a dry cleaner in Marion, Ohio with a business owner. And I filled out the application. It was a $25,000 annuity. The application was three pages. And that third page was his receipt. Uh, so, you know, again, times have changed. There was a couple things. Number one, it was a very easy application. Number two, I couldn't believe somebody was letting me walk out of their business with a $25,000 check. 
Uh, but now when I go in to write an annuity application, you know, I'm dealing with 30, 35 pieces of paper that I have to use to get that done. With National Guardian Life, again, it is so simple. You're going to have your uh, first page of your application. This is the top part of it. So you're just going to fill out your client information on here. You're going to come down here, single pay. You're going to mark their interest rate right here. The premium that you picked up, the face amount. They have calculators online so that you can figure this out very easily. You're going to come down here to the health question. You're going to ask them this health question. Um, it's either yes or no. Uh, it's very simple to ask them and find out. Again, they're going to get issued either way. You're going to come down here. You're going to have them sign off. You're going to sign off. If they gave you a cash with application, there's a sheet that you can give them an acknowledgement of payment receipt uh, and give that to them so that they have a receipt for their funds. Then this is going to be your disclosure you're going to fill out with them. You do not have to put a funeral home in here. It can be used at any funeral home. This is the funeral expense trust. There is also an estate planning trust disclosure. You want to make sure you have the right disclosure if you're going out to meet with a, a client to do business. At the bottom here, uh, let's say that my elder law attorney came down to me today and he said, hey, John, I want to get these people qualified March 1st. We're going to try to get Medicaid. I need to get 30 grand off the table. I want to do a plan on both of them. Um, typically what happens is when we write the policy, 45 days after issue, they put it into the irrevocable trust. But in the situation I just explained, we can have them sign a waiver here that says, hey, I understand that I'm making this election. I'm giving up all rights to cancel the policy, and I want this put into the trust immediately. I don't want to wait the 45 days. I'm trying to do some Medicaid planning. We can also do that for them. So the real uh, thing comes down to once I understand the product, I'm going to need to present it to the clients. And so I'll walk you through a few things here, a couple recommendations that I would give you. And it's pretty simple. First thing I would do is if I was on an annual review with my client or, you know, we've all been guilty at some point in our career of maybe not being as diligent on an annual review as we should be, this should get you excited to do an annual review because you're going to be able to go out and not only do a good review for the client, but be able to say something to them like, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Jones, would you agree that all the advice I've given you in the past has worked out the way I told you it would? Well, of course, they're going to tell you, yes, you're doing a good job for them. Then you just say to them, well, hey, there's something that's come to my attention that we haven't addressed, and I'm going to show you why we need to get it addressed, why we need to get it done, and more importantly, how we're going to get that done for you. And then you just ask them, have you pre-planned your funeral? Or and they say no, then you're going to say, well, hey, this is why I'm talking to you. So I'm going to review the issues that are important about getting it prepaid and preplanned, how we're going to protect that money. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to present that funeral trust funding. We're going to plan ahead. We can use it with any funeral home. This is important because if you get on that Google machine and you type in funeral homes in your local area, you're going to see stories about how people took off with the, the pre-planning money from a funeral home, how a funeral home went out of business, how a funeral home changed ownership, and now the people that thought that they were dealing with the family they dealt with forever is now dealing with new owners that they don't particularly care for. That doesn't come into play with this plan because we can use this with any funeral home. You're not locked in as you would be if you went to a funeral home and pre-planned with the funeral home. And then where we do a lot of our business is 1035 exchange on existing life insurance. Do you understand the majority of your clients do not realize that if they were to pass away, they don't get both their cash value and their death benefit, the only thing that they're going to receive is going to be the higher of those two numbers, which is typically the death benefit. So what I would say to, a, to you is get out those old policies with your clients, get on the phone and call the insurance company, and you're going to like the answers you get because a lot of times they're going to say, well, hey, 
they've got 10,000 in cash value and their death benefit is 11.5. Well, Mrs. Jones, you know, that 10,000, if you get sick and go to a nursing home, is going to have to be spent at the nursing home. Now, I understand we're giving up $1,500 worth of death benefit, but let's protect the 10,000 and get the interest growth on it and know that it's going to be there for your final expenses. Because if you leave it the way it is and you get sick and go in a nursing home, that money may not be there for what you intended it to be there for in the first place. So don't leave those existing life insurance policies, those paid up policies on the table. Maybe you run into somebody who has an old universal life that's blowing up and maybe they have 15,000 of cash value, the death benefits 100,000, but if they don't start paying an absorbent at premium, they're gonna lose it all, and they're not gonna pay the premium. Well, why lose it all? At least let's protect the cash value and get the money out of there. And then you gotta close the sale. I mean, that's what we get paid on in this business. So you are gonna give them that peace of mind of knowing that they planned ahead, but that also when you leave there and you've done that for them, you've protected those assets from a nursing home. And believe me, people are scared to death of losing their money to a nursing home. So where do you find the money? Again, this is why we tell our clients they're really not even buying anything in theory, because the money's already there. They know in their mind, if you ask them, if you were to pass away, where would the money come to pay for your funeral? They know, they already have that in their mind where that money's coming from. Uh, I've got some old life insurance policies. Great, we wanna look at those. My daughter knows I have a CD over at the bank with $15,000 in it. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Jones, do you understand that if you go into nursing home, they're gonna make you spend that? Doesn't it make more sense to put it over here, have it 100% protected? If that's your intention, is it to be to use for your final expenses? Money market, maybe you're a big annuity producer. We've done a lot of this in, out of our agency. We've written a lot of annuities over the years. And this, I think the statistic is 93% of people who buy annuities never take money out of the annuity. They leave it to the next beneficiary. Well, why not maximize that 10% penalty-free withdrawal and get that money out of there and tell them, yeah, we're gonna pay some income tax on it because interest comes out first, but the way it's sitting right now, if you go in a nursing home, they're gonna make you spend it. So let's start getting it moved over and getting some of that money protected. And again, you're gonna get paid on the business and it's money you're probably not getting paid on now because it's just sitting in the annuity. So again, you're doing a good job for them and you're, you're earning revenue for your business while you're doing it. So again, they have the funding, it's not new money, we're just repositioning it. So at uh, National Guardian Life, they have some really good uh, brochures that they use uh, that are made available to you once you get licensed with them. We use the ones that are flanking the understanding Medicaid. And the reason that we use those are they are so consumer friendly. Uh, one of my favorite stories is I have a client lives about 15 minutes from my office here. Uh, they had a bunch of cash value with Nationwide Insurance Company. I went over, I went through my spiel with them on why we needed to get the cash value into the estate planning trust. Um, at the end of the conversation, they said, well, hey, John, you've written annuities on us. You know how we are. We don't do anything in, in the first uh, presentation. We like to think on it and pray on it. And then... Um, give you an answer. And I said, well, you know how I am. I don't mind any client doing that, but I want you to make a decision why it's fresh on your mind. So at one o'clock tomorrow, I'm gonna call you because this brochure is a trifold and it's very easy to read. Uh, the next morning at nine o'clock, my phone rang and she said, hey, based on the information you gave us and reading the brochure this morning over coffee, we wanna move forward with it. Let's get the appointment set. So again, the brochures are really great on moving the client along and you can get your uh, company information put on the back of them. Uh, they're really nice leave behind pieces. This is one thing that I think is very important if you're going to do these trusts for clients. Um, I was always taught in the sales process that if you leave the client a task after you've written an application, that your chances of them keeping the business uh, and not wanting, not getting the jitters and wanting to get out of the deal uh, goes up dramatically. 
So what I do is I give them this guide. This is made available to you through National Guardian Life. And all remember at the beginning, I told you the story about my father, and I didn't know all the answers to all those questions. If you look here, the personal history, it's asking all that, your mother's maiden name. This is all the stuff the funeral director wants to know. Were you a veteran? What was your branch of service, your discharge, your location? And so what I do is I give this to them and I say, hey, I want you to fill this out for me. It's only going to take you about 30 minutes at the most. And when I come back with your contract from National Guardian Life, we're going to put your contract with the planning guide. And Mr. and Mrs. Jones, if I had never met you before, I could take this contract and this guide and go to the funeral home and take care of your services for you without ever meeting you because this is everything that the funeral director is going to want to know to be able to do your funeral planning. So it's a great tool to use. Um, I would encourage them. They're high gloss. They're very nice looking, and the clients like them. So National Guardian Life, they've been around over 100 years. Uh, they're very well capitalized. One thing I will say about them in 14 years of almost 15 of doing business, it's probably the only insurance company I can tell you I have never had one issue with the company, not from getting my contract issued, not from getting service done, death benefit claims paid, that transition between them and the funeral home when a client passes away. I just can't say enough good things about them. They're just an excellent, excellent company to do business with. So once you're licensed with National Guardian Life through Insurance Agency Marketing Services, you'll get access to their website for agents. And I'm telling you, everything down to a PowerPoint that you can put on your laptop or your iPad, whatever you might be using in the field, to walk them through that diagram of exactly how the plan works. Uh, they've got great videos on here. You can do your quotes on here. You can pull your applications. You can go on every morning and look at your uh, commissions. Uh, that's another thing I want to touch on is with their commissions, if I were to write a plan today and we send everything two-day mail to them and I send it to them two-day mail, they would get that on Wednesday and I'm going to probably be paid on Thursday, uh, if not Friday for sure. So their submission to commission process is excellent. If you're ever in the home and you have a question, maybe you're new to this and you, you don't want to give a wrong answer, you call this 1-800 number right here, you'll get a live person and they'll be more than happy to answer any question that you might have or the client has. So why sell the products? Uh, I showed you the stats. Your clients are needed and thinking about it. They just need pushed along a little bit. It's a great income opportunity. I'm going to share that with you here in just a second. The trusts are free, so there's no fees. We always ask our clients, has anyone ever talked to you before about an irrevocable funeral trust? 14 years, I've never had a client tell me yes. They know all about going to the funeral home and prepaying it because that's all over the television and they're getting mailers on it. But as far as this program, no other professional has talked to them about it. The funds are totally portable. We talked about that, so you can use them with any funeral home. We have a great company backing them. Uh, gives your client that peace of mind. And if you hate paperwork, you will absolutely love doing business with National Guardian Life. So I like to use this, uh, and I just use this on working 10 months a year, because uh, one of the things I value about being in this business is being able to have my quality time off. And so I just said, okay, you know what? What if we just took a typical representative? He was out there or she was out there, and they they saw 20 couples during the year, and they wrote a $10,000 plan on the husband and the wife. If they did that, that would give them a minimum of $40,000 to your annual bottom line of your business. So this becomes another income uh, leg of your income stool. And so what we do here at Intang Financial Services is we count on this year in and year out paying all of our office expenses. I have a couple different offices. I know that I don't have to worry about the rent being paid. I don't have to worry about the electric, the gas. I know National Guardian Life, as long as I'm asking people every time I'm in contact with them, have you prepaid your funeral, that they're going to take care of all my office expenses for me.
And the way I do that is, here's what a commission grid looks like. So this is offering the client a growth rate of 2% on their funds. And let's go over here and let's look at a 61 to 65 year old. And if you went out and let's say they wanted to both put $15,000 into a plan and they were a standard issue, you can see there that that's a pretty good day at the office. That's almost $4,000 in commission uh, from just working with one couple and sharing with them an idea that they may not even have thought about. Even here at 66 to 70, 11%. If you're in the annuity business, you know what commissions look like right now. Um, you're not seeing these type of commissions anywhere. So you gotta pick up less money, um, you'll be able to explain what the deal is to them and again, pick up a, a nice uh, commission by helping somebody out and there's never anything wrong with that. So we, we haven't got the 2019 trip on here because they, um, as of Friday, I hadn't seen it announced on the website, uh, but once they do, we'll get it up there for you. I've been on their sales conference. Again, they treat you like uh, gold. Uh, one of the things I will say to you about this is, I, the way I built my practice over the years, and I've been doing this since 1987, is I've qualified for a lot of sales conferences, and I would always go find the top people at the sales conference. They always have their names listed, or they are recognizing them in some manner, and I would find those people. They love to talk about their business and their successes, and I would just soak it all in and then come back to my business and implement some of those things to help grow my business in the direction I wanted to take it. So again, the biggest challenge is getting comfortable with the concept, learning how to present it, and keeping it on the top of your mind. Every client, every day, have you prepaid your funeral? It's not that tough of a question. So what I did a few years ago is I developed this guide for beneficiaries. If you license through IMS with National Guardian Life, they will make this available to you so that you can format it to your company information. Uh, but the reason I did it is I had a client who passed away. She had about $500,000 of annuity premium with me. And when her daughter called me, I said, well, hey, we need to set an appointment up. Uh, to, to talk about the annuities, you're the beneficiary. And she said, oh, John, don't worry about that. I talked to the guy at the bank and he's gonna handle everything for us. And I determined I wasn't gonna let that happen to myself anymore. So I developed this guide. We went out and we implemented it with the clients. We collected all new data. Uh, and then we had some successes with it. In the first six months, we picked up a million five in additional annuity premium. 200,000 in single premium life traditional, and then about 150 in National Guardian Life premium. And again, it's not because we're the smartest guys in the world, but we had a uh, track to run off of, and practice makes perfect and no matter what you're doing. So this is what it looks like. It just says, a guide for my beneficiaries. For help settling my estate, please call my advisor at Intang Financial Services. So I want them calling us. I want to work with that money again. I want to settle claims from other people's business that they put in the house and then neglected the client. So this has uh, been very valuable for us. I have a welcome letter here that I've written to the client, uh, just telling them, you know, that we, we're good at what we do and that we guarantee their satisfaction uh, taking them through the process. Every time we delivered one of these to the clients, the only thing we got from them other than additional funds was a thank you. Because what it does is it walks their children through everything they need to do when someone passes away in the house. But the financial organizer is the real crux of it. So what we tell them is, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, we're gonna update all of your finances today. And we want you to tell us everything. Because believe it or not, your clients don't tell you everything. But through this, we found that we picked up a lot of information they didn't share with us, old paid up life policies, retirement plans that they didn't know they could roll over and put into an IRA. And so what we did is we just went through this diligently with them. You can see question eight, have you prepaid your funeral? If they said yes, we ask them the next question. Do you have any money that you would like to see protected from a nursing home? 
And if they said, well, yeah, I do, we'd make a note out here. If they said they hadn't prepaid, we'd make a market no. We didn't launch into a sales pitch because we're going to print this up nicely and we're going to bring it out to them because now we know where the money's at that we can pull to solve this problem right here. So again, that's just the rust of it, down to do they have a living trust. And then we have a page in the back of the financial organizer for notes so that we can make sure we don't miss anything. And that is really, um, like I told you earlier about having that, uh, that guide with the policy with National Guardian Life, if I'd never met them, I could uh, get their funeral done. We tell them the same thing. If we have this financial organizer and this beneficiary guide in your house, if I'd never met you before, it has all the information I need to come in and help settle your estate. So that is going to be it for me. Um, I am going to take any questions. I think Sandy is going to jump back in here and take control of the screen and then she'll relay to me any questions that you might have. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, want to just say thank you so much, John. Really do greatly appreciate it. One last poll question that I'll put out there is if you'd like to get contracted with uh, National Guardian and just remind everyone um, that you will get a recorded version of this webinar. Uh, you'll have that later on this afternoon and then I'll personally uh, call each and every one of you to see what questions you have. Uh, right now, it doesn't look like we have any questions. Again, just wanted to remind everyone the simplicity of this. You truly do get paid before you even uh, have that policy go out the door. It is a very quick turnaround time. Uh, if you have, uh, if you'd like to get contracted and have any of their um, customizations done on their uh, marketing pieces, uh, again, our creative team can do that for you. Um, they want to know, can they obtain a draft of your questionnaire? You can do that when you get contracted, correct, John? Yes, they will provide that from you from the, uh, what, what do you call your team, creative team. Correct. So if we don't have any other questions, again, thank you so much, uh, everyone, for attending this webinar. I do greatly appreciate you taking time out of your schedule for that. John, thank you for uh, letting everyone know what a great opportunity with National Guardian Life and how it can uh, increase their business and uh, retain more business from their clients. Everyone have a very safe, healthy, happy week. And again, looking forward to speaking to each and every one of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks.